much better. Oh, you sound like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I uh, well, just now the phone rang a little bit ago, and I said, Randy said, I'll get it, Mama. And I said, no, I'll, I'll get it because I want to call Charlotte. I said, I'll call home first and then the hospital because I heard <laughs> that you haven't got to go home like we planned. Yeah. So, and do you believe it was Eva Carolyn? Well. And so I got to talk with her, and she told me you were at home. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, and you sound like you feel all right. And yeah. You know what I told her? It's all right if you can't take solid food for a long time. Yeah. I yeah. I a man that lived on uh, anything that would go through a straw a year. Yeah. Of course, you wouldn't want to do that, but... Well, I'll do anything to keep from going through that horrible yeah, pain. Well, you, I don't believe you'll have to go through that anymore. I believe, Charlotte, that that will gradually heal. Yeah. It's don't, just, does he? Yeah, it's it's swollen. And I it, think they were rushing. I mean, I think it was rushing. Yeah. Yeah, evidently. I, I don't have... A, there's not a doubt in my mind that that's going to heal and you're going to be able to eat. Yeah. So... so you, you can just scratch that. <laughs> Yes, sir. God's been too good to us. He's not going to drop us now. No, you sound better. I'm better. But you remember what they, all the tales they told me about how I was going to fly through and do? And I didn't do just that well. You know, they said one week in the hospital mm -hmm. turned into 12 days. Yeah. Two weeks down at home has turned into nearly two months. So, mm. so they don't know. Everybody don't react the same way. Yeah. So, but we're we're doing. They told me I went through that surgery. Told Gene I went through that surgery. Great, and it was successful. So we got a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. And Mark told me that he said that was the best he'd ever done. Eva Carolyn told me the same thing. You know about you? Yeah. No adhesion. So we just gonna look up. Yeah. So I'm. As long as I mean, I it doesn't bother me to stay on. You know, runny stuff is, is no, if it'll honey. keep me from hurting. Maybe I just fill up on milkshakes. And Banana shakes. And mm -hmm. What do you like? Oh, well, I've got some oatmeal and and uh, <laughs> you can't live on sweets all the time, but Jello and and do you like malt and meal, cream of wheat and such as that? Yeah. 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 See, there's all kind of nourishing food. Yeah. Uh, so Daddy pure, pureed uh, peas and beans and potato soup. Yeah. Uh, there's no end to what you can nourishing foods you can eat. Yeah. Baby, I love baby food too. Yeah, I, uh -huh. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. So I'm not going. I'm not going. I told everybody what you said about you woke up. I mean, you was hurting so bad at three. You just wondered if everybody had stopped praying. <laughs> that tickled. They said no. I said, well, she's hurting, and she thought everybody just quit. <laughs> so y'all get to pray. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I. I'm just glad I'm home. And oh, yeah. I told them if I could get to my old nasty room, to my <laughs> old bed. Uh, I, it's not nasty, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If I could just get home, right. I believed I could get well. Yeah. And I'm doing it. <laughs> you will, too. Because you sound a whole lot better. Oh, than I was. Yeah. I am, honey. Well, good. Uh, in fact, I like to got depressed about you, and now I'm not depressed a bit. No, don't. Uh, I, I just know you're going to be all right. I thought it sounded too good to be true, but see, I'm going by what they told me. Yeah. And it didn't work out that way. No. And there was lots of nights I laid in that bed and wondered if I was even going to come out of there. I know. When I was so sick, those two nights that I did get sick, I thought I was dying. Oh, I did. I thought, well, you know, uh, God, you know all about it, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. Right. And, I, I, and so he don't never leave us, Charlotte. Uh-uh. And no. he prepares us for whatever we have to do. So we're not supposed to fear even when we can't see. That's right. But, but I just think he's so good to us. And I can't. I don't have any complaints. No. But is there anything that I can do for for you from this distance? No, ma'am. Till I can get up there. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm know that. I'm thinking something I can send you to eat. No, no, no. Well, I'm too close to the grocery store. Yeah. I'm fine. You know, I, I told Eva Carolyn a while ago uh, that uh, Janine, I, I went and got watermelon, and she pulverized mm. that and let him drink through the straw. Uh-huh. You can have all kinds of stuff. There's no end to what you can have. Yeah, I've got a blender. I can puree yeah, stuff in. anything you want. That's but right. me, Charlotte, man, I could live on potato soup such as that, you know, cream soup. Yeah. Uh, I just talked to Jerry, and I was telling him we went 
by Kroger so I could look at the cream soups and I got one that sounded good at the time, a, a cream of roasted garlic and it smelled wonderful when I opened it. It was the nastiest stuff I ever put in my mouth. <laughs> well, thank you because I've been wanting to buy one. Oh, well, don't. <laughs> it is not good for eat, just sitting down and eating soup. I don't know what you'd do with it. Maybe bake something in it. Maybe well, chicken believe, or something. I, I imagine you'd cook with it. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of that I can't, I can't handle. Mm -mm. I don't like cream of mushroom soup. Well, see, I love that. Just by itself. Yeah. Uh, but I, we love cream of chicken, and there is a cream of potato, isn't there? Yeah, I, did, I didn't get it. There's cream of celery. I didn't get mm -hmm. that, but... Um, well, now you got old Mark. Oh, yeah. Do he, your running. That's right. Charlie, he was so happy because you was doing good the other night. He couldn't keep the joy out of his voice. <laughs> and then it was after that that we found out you wasn't doing something. I know. When I'd be doing on the upswing, then I'd fall back. But that was because I was eating soft food, and my system well, couldn't. Well, Carolyn told me what they fed you. I don't know how you did as well as you did. <laughs> A roll? Well, I thought it was going to kill me. The pain was so piercing. Now, to me, a roll is not soft food. No. It's not at all. No, well, see, the opening is so small coming out of my stomach that it couldn't pass through. And it was just lodged there, and it took four times of throwing up to get it neither, all out. Neither could the zucchini or whatever. No. None of that could go through. No. None of it. So I thought I was a dying. Yeah, I expect you to heal yourself better. Yeah. Use your common sense and be sure you get a balance. Right, I can control my yeah, food more your, here. Your, yeah, right, your fruit juices and your breakfast food and then your soups and then your... Right. Yeah, and you watch your protein, and I believe you could heal yourself now. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you stand a lot better chance than... <laughs> <laughs> I know it. They'll <laughs> ki That's the place to go to die. They'll kill you while yes, you're in there. He, he swears that. <laughs> <laughs> he said they'll kill you there. That's right. But we couldn't do without them, so. No. Like Glenn said a while ago, they're a good place to be. Gertrude, her doctor, she went for a mammogram uh, Monday, I believe, and Dr. Bourne called her late this evening and told her he'd rather, he, he saw some nodules. Mm -hmm. Now, she said that she's already had that in one breast. Yeah. Years ago. But now this, he sees some in another breast, and he'd prefer her go to a surgeon and let him do a sonogram. Yeah. Last time, Bourne did the sonogram, but. She said, I'm not worried about it because it's already happened once, you know. Uh-huh. So I just thought I'd pass that on to you, but well, I could tell Glenn was. Yeah. Well, I'll put, put her in my... on your prayer list. Right. Well, right. Uh, let's see. It's, uh, how is Mark? Mark's doing good. He keeps coming by and hugging me every oh, now and then telling so me. Oh, glad to have you home. Glad I'm home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just that y'all you know, have a relationship that's just out of this world. Yeah. You really do. Who was that? Okay, Eva Carroll and Randy that said the way he looked at you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of the way I have with me and Randy always have. Yeah. It's, it's something that nobody nobody else don't have. We, no. We can just look at one another. That's right. And he don't ever hardly pass me without patting me on the shoulder. <laughs> so it's a sweet relationship. Yeah. All people don't have no, that. No, they don't. Uh-uh. And oh. I'm sorry for people that don't well, don't show love. Yeah, that's true. I told Eva Carol a while ago, too, one thing I want to tell you children is how much I love you. If you don't remember nothing else, remember that. Well, I do. I did love my sister's children. Well, I love you, too. Tell you the truth, I never did know much difference whether y'all was nieces or nephews or sisters or brothers or what. I was just thrown in there, all with us all together, you know. Yeah. But well, I did love every one of them and wanted only what was the best. Well, and I think I, we've all done pretty good. I do too. And I was telling Jerry I was already getting cabin fever, thinking about trying to drive down there to Louisiana before I go back to work. But I don't. I just have to Charlie, wait and see. I wouldn't have you to jeopardize what's been done. But now you, we're way off from that. Yeah. We got a ways to go yet. Haven't yeah. We? Yeah. Yeah. But so. I mean, I'd give anything if you could. But I wouldn't have you to undo what's done for no, no amount of money. No, I still... Now, he said that he'd come get us. <coughs> uh, he, he always makes out that he'd come get us. Mm -hmm. And I told Essie, I said, Dr. Islam would take us up there any time we wanted to go, and I would love to come stay a few days with you. Yeah, I would like it, too. I'd sleep on that couch. 
Oh, you could have my bed. Oh, I... sir. I, I'd love nothing better than to sleep right there on that couch where you are. I, that's where I sleep, <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> well, it, that's, a, that's a place that I love. Oh, what is it that you've got of your daddy's on the back, on that back patio? I was trying to tell Glenn, and my mind went just as blind. The corn grinder? The corn grinder. Mm -hmm. He's got something for you, two things, of your dad's. What is that? Oh. Uh, one of them was a cane that he, uh, he said one day he was down there, and he said, Glenn, this is what me and your dad used in the woods when we was, uh, cutting timber or whatever. Mm -hmm. I imagine that was at Oakdale. And Glenn said he took it and he smoothed the top and the bottom and put a, a metal band around it mm -hmm. and, and to make a walking stick. And uh, But it was Mr. Marson's stick. Yeah. He said, yes, sir, I'd be glad to have it. He said the other thing was the old paddle that they stirred the slop with down there mm -hmm. that nobody would understand why he kept it, but it was war slick. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that paddle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he said every time Mr. Marson offered him anything, he took it because he didn't want it to get away. Yeah. But he said, now, I wonder if Charlotte might like to have it. I would love to have it. I told him he would. Yeah. And I said, he said, I cannot give them to somebody that wouldn't care for them. All right. No, I, I would love to have it. Well, I'm going to call them and tell them I'll call everybody and tell them I talked with you. Okay. And you sound better than I was hoping for, and you're going to be fine. Yeah. Both are going to be fine. Yeah, I believe it. So some days I have to fight depression, Charlotte. Yeah, real well, bad, real hard. Sometimes I just at that I guess feel sorry for myself, but I <laughs> then we have to get rid of that. <laughs> well, I think inactivity is brings yeah. that on. It breeds. Uh -huh. What is it? Idolism is the devil's workshop. But we're idle because we can't do anything right now. Right. See, I see what I want to do, and I can't no more do it. And like I write bills, and I, I can write three or four, and my hands start shaking. Well, mm. that's weakness. Yeah. See. And I'm going to have to just build up to back up to my.